So new year, new exemptions. Hi, I'm Claire from the Yanowitz Law Firm where we help clients with wills, trusts, and probate. Um, and in this video today, we're talking about um, uh, the new exemptions for 2023. So we have a new federal estate tax exemption for 2023, and that value is 12 0.92 million. So um, it's it's quite high, uh, almost 13 million. And that is a per person exemption. Um, so married couples, um, if, if they um, file an estate tax return at the first spouse's death, they can get um, at least two federal exemptions. So married couples can pass almost 26 million in 2023 without paying any federal estate tax. And that's a good thing because the federal estate tax rates are around uh, 40%. So they take a huge amount and that's for the amount above the Minnesota exemption, uh, the federal exemption. You're not taxed on the amount uh, below that 12.92 million. Uh, this year, the exemption is a 12 um, uh, point, um, uh, six million. Uh, so it's going up by almost a full million. And something to know about the federal exemption is uh, it's set to decrease down to 5 million plus inflation adjustments um, if Congress does not act at the beginning of 2026. So we have some uncertainty on the federal level on whether that, ex that exemption is going to change dramatically here. Um, something to know for, on the Minnesota level is we are not set to change the Minnesota estate tax exemption in 2023. It was $3 million in 2022, and it is set to remain at $3 million uh, in 2023. There isn't any, um, any uh, automatic changes that are going to happen with that unless some legislation is passed. Um, something else to keep in mind. Um, for the new year in changes is the annual exclusion. And the annual exclusion is the amount you can give away to a single person in a year without having to file a gift tax return, okay? And in uh, 2022, that amount was uh, $16,000. But the annual exclusion amount goes up um, with inflation. And uh, since we've had a lot of inflation in 2023, that value is going to be $17,000. That means you can give up to a single person $17,000. You don't have to file a gift tax return. Don't have to report it to the government. Um, this annual exclusion amount goes up um, uh, in thousand dollar increments. It took quite a while to go from 15 to 16,000, um, took a couple of years. Uh, but since we've had so much inflation this year, it's gone up again. Um, now, uh, this amount you can give away to as many people as you want. So if you have 20 people, you each want to give 17,000 to, you can without filing a gift tax return. Um, also, there are some exceptions to the annual exclusion where you can give away more than the annual exclusion and not file a gift tax return. And those include paying someone's um, uh, school tuition directly or their medical bills or their medical insurance premiums directly. So writing a check to the Mayo Clinic or writing a check uh, to the University of Minnesota directly to pay for someone's um, bills on their behalf also is uh, not is excluded from the 17,000 exception. So those are a few things to know. If you do make a gift bigger than uh, 17,000, um, oftentimes we do see this a lot with clients who have adult kids that maybe they're trying to help, you know, um, help help their child buy a home or help their children get on their feet for whatever reason and they make this big gift to their child you do have to file a gift tax return um, if you do give away more than that seventeen thousand. however um, you don't actually have to pay uh, gift tax until you give away more than the federal estate tax exemption so you have to give away in excess of 12 million in taxable gifts before you actually end up paying a gift tax. So a lot of people can be required to file a gift tax return, but almost no one ends up paying 
gift tax in those gift tax returns. So thank you so much um, for learning, listening to my video to learn about the new exemptions for 2023. Uh, we're here to help get your estate plan in order. Um, give us a call um, or um, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel to learn more about estate planning. Thank you.